Last year, Substack made enormous waves. They basically picked off the Amazing Spider-Man writer, the Batman writer, the X-Men writer, kind of all in one fell swoop, along with a host of other high-profile creators from Marvel and DC. They announced a lot of projects. James Tynan, Jeff Lemire, Scott Snyder, Chip Zdarsky. There's a couple other I'm, I'm kind of forgetting there. Nick Spencer would have been another one. But the most ambitious by far, and it's not even close, was Jonathan Hickman's Substack project, Three Worlds, Three Moods. Not only were you going to get a new world fully fleshed out by Jonathan Hickman, the creator of East of West, Decorum, the man behind House of X, Powers of Ted, the last good writer on the Fantastic Four, but he was bringing in Mike Del Mundo and Mike Huddleston to assist him in creating Three Worlds, Three Moons, and he was bringing in pretty much superstar talent to come in and help him flesh his world out. Ray and V, I guess, was going to create the banking system for this universe. Uh, Tinny Howard was going to create like a ma- system of magic or something like that. And some of this has happened. But for the most part, Three Worlds, Three Moons has turned out to be an enormous grift on the part of Jonathan Hickman, Stephen Wacker, who was brought in as the EIC later on, Mike Huddleston and Mike Del Mundo. And for the most part, Jonathan Hickman has done absolutely nothing as far as delivering stories. And it sounds like he never will. He doesn't intend to even create an ongoing narrative within this world. For the first year, they've only done world building. This is happening in this quarter, and there's a little four pages happening here and there, but there's been no ongoing continuous narrative of actually what's going on. And Mike Huddleston and Mike Del Mundo, two of the real big draws to this particular project, have basically done, it's not nothing, but they've done virtually no artwork when it comes to Three Worlds, Three Moons, and the founders, the people that supported this project from day number one for $250 have gotten absolutely nothing that they were promised from Jonathan Hickman and the creators behind Three Worlds, Three Moons. This is absolutely insane because we know there are a lot of other people with Substack comics. Supposedly, James Tynan has delivered everything he said and more. I've heard the same thing about Jeff Lemire, Scott Snyder, Chip Zdarsky, Ramby, and others. I've heard there's a lot of people delivering great stuff because the grants on Substack are over. They're no longer subsidizing these creators. They gave them a year, build your audience, build your narrative, get your consumer base that are willing to pay the subscription fee, and then we're going to stop subsidizing you. And I'll be surprised if Jonathan Hickman's Three Worlds, Three Moons actually survives because there are a lot of people pissed. There are a lot of subscribers to that Substack that are being censored. I've heard there are messages being deleted. I've even heard a rumor that one of the founding members, like one of the founders that paid $250, was actually booted like out of the server or something like that. It's absolutely insane. This is what I was told from an insider. Three worlds, three moons is all smoke and mirrors, marketing tricks and a grip. As the most successful comic book substack, Three Worlds, Three Moons has not released any ongoing story. They claim it is hard and difficult, and they will try to have it for year two. Founder subscriptions, which were set to end on August 9th, 2022, were extended to September 9th, 2022, because the printed book and launch of a comic ongoing was not yet ready. They've been doing this for a year, essentially acknowledging that the team behind Three Worlds, Three Moons have not yet delivered on anything they promised. And you want to know what the craziest thing about all this? They definitely have stuff in print because they're going to comic cons and they're selling the stuff that they promised to the founders that they haven't delivered, but they're selling them to like VIP exclusive members that pay another $250 on top of what the original founders had already paid for these materials. So they're they're done. They're printed, at least the concept book and like uh, the, the baseline stuff about what the book is going to be, the Ash Kid but they actually never gave them to the founders. They've completely ripped them off to this point, and they're cashing in and charging people who didn't come in on day one and weren't founders associated with the project more money, and they're giving it to them first. It's absolutely insane, and you can see why so many people are absolutely pissed off at Jonathan Hickman, and they're more pissed off now because when they signed up for Three Worlds, Three Moons, they thought they were signing up for a Jonathan Hickman creator-owned world where he would be the focal point and he would be creating the world. People would come in around him because it was going to be collaborative. They would add pieces to the puzzle, but it was going to be Jonathan Hickman's vision. They've been told matter-of-factly by Stephen Wacker, the EIC at this point, Hickman will never be credited as writing any of these comics because he has no plans to actually do them. So they thought they were paying for Jonathan Hickman and his world that he's created. And, you know, obviously with East of West, 
with decorum and a lot of the things that he's created, you know he's a good world builder. Customers thought they were paying for Jonathan Hickman's world and his vision of what was going to happen. But what they're actually paying for is Jonathan Hickman's concept and then for him to subcontract it out to less talented creators and actually do all the work. It's insane that they promised that this was going to be Jonathan Hickman's work and he hasn't delivered anything. And this kind of falls in line with what we heard when he was the head of X within the Marvel office. I was told by multiple sources that Jonathan Hickman essentially was doing nothing. For the vast majority of the time, he wasn't in the substack. He wasn't contributing to very much at all, specifically the overall vision and story arcs that were going through X-Men when he was supposed to be in charge. And it feels like that apparent laziness that crept in during his X-Men time has also crept into his creator-owned Three Worlds, Three Moons. In fact, they promised subscribers the Valors was coming. This was announced on January 31st, 2022. To this day, not a single page has been released of Valors. And everything that has been released that you can see, almost all of it is actually free. If you weren't a paid subscriber to Three Worlds, Three Moons, you would have access to essentially everything that everyone else does. So you can understand why the founders and other paid subscribers would be so pissed off at Jonathan Hickman, Stephen Wacker, and the rest of the team behind this. Now let's look at the actual promises delivered to the founders when they signed up for $250 on day one, their memberships are about to be extended automatically by another year for another $250. And that's why a lot of these people are pissed off because they're about to get auto renewed and they don't know if they want to stick around. This is what they promised them. Exclusive signed edition of the system's deluxe hardcover. This is a collection of the scarce world building material that was released. We know this book is done. I've seen it in hardcover, and I believe they're actually selling this at cons. It has not yet been delivered to anyone, including founders who dropped their $250 on day one. They were also promised The Path interactive comic exclusive only to the founders. The Path has never been launched, and from what I'm told, the founders themselves have only received a Google form to fill out with some questions about their character, apparently for future use with The Path interactive comic but nothing has been delivered with that one. Founders are supposed to receive an exclusive deluxe edition of the Ash Can, which was released digitally over a year ago, but no physical copies have actually been shipped to the founders themselves. We know for certain they are selling that at Comic-Cons to VIP, paying customers for another fee of $250 on top. Founders are supposed to receive a limited edition print. That has not been received. A limited edition collector card. That has not been received. Day one founders were also promised that there would be founders meetings. Once a month, they were going to get together, convene an exclusive live online gathering just for the founders themselves to talk about what's going on, the state of everything, and keep them informed. From what I'm told, this has never actually happened once. They've done some interviews with Grant Morrison and people like that. They've also done some live streams of Mike Del Mundo and Mike Huddleston doing art and answering some questions there, but they've never done a founders meeting, which was promised. Founders were also promised, and we know they'll never receive this one, the coin, the map, and the key. And they were told details would be forthcoming in the future. But since then, this has actually been scrapped because they came up with a new idea that was cooler, but haven't delivered that either. They haven't delivered on a single promise that they made to their founders. The people that dropped $250 on day one to support this project, the reason that it's continuing going on today now that the grant money is over, and they basically screwed them over every single step of the way. And now, if you have the temerity to even speak up or ask a tough question about the state of three worlds, three moons, and what's going on with what has been promised, are we ever going to get an actual story, something ongoing that fits into this universe where you've been doing this world building for a year, but you haven't told a story yet? You will get banned. Your feedback will be deleted. And apparently, according to rumors, they might just end your subscription and kick you off permanently. There was a time I thought Jonathan Hickman was the best damn thing in comic books, period. I read East of West. I read Black Monday Murders. I loved his work on Nick Fury. Loved his stuff on Fantastic Four. His Avengers stuff was either hit or miss, but it was still very solid. I was over the moon about House of X, Powers of Ted. I thought Jonathan Hickman was going to change comic books, that he was an agent of change that we all needed. It turns out... He's just a grifter that's out there taking people's money, delivering on nothing that he promised, and has no intention to ever write an actual story in the universe that people drop so much hard-earned money to support 
so that he could go and create it on his own. Absolute insanity, if you ask me. Like I said, this is something that I heard when he was at Marvel. I thought he was just dissatisfied working with Jordan White and the other morons in the X-Men office. It turns out this might just be who Jonathan Hickman is today. If you want some more information about that, I talk about this in full. This is a really good video. Check this out because this isn't new. It's been happening for a while. If you're on a mobile device, there is a link in the video description as well.